it's Jolly Money Walk and welcome to another video. So for this video, I just want to share with you guys some of uh, the things I've been doing. One of them is this. So recently, I have been posting my work on a website called Web Novel. It's something similar to Wattpad, uh, but something new. But at the same time, other than writing, I have been also trying to pursue my career as a book cover designer since I've designed my book cover and I have some skills. I want to build a portfolio. And therefore, because they have this forum here and I, I've seen that a lot of people requesting for good book covers for many years, not many years, a lot of the times. So I decided why not just set up this post where I could build up my own portfolio. So as you can see, um, as I've written here, I'm currently building a portfolio for my book cover designing career. So I'm here offering my assistance and services in exchange for reviews and promotion of my book cover designs. If you're interested in this free service, read the instructions below. So basically, I have started this post where I ask people to put down their requests. And based on these requests, I would uh, make book covers. Um, to, to practice my skills of making book covers and also um, to build a portfolio. So for those who want to know about more about my work, there are two ways that you can check out my works. One is um, through Instagram. So not my writer's Instagram. It should be, you can type in Jolly Molly book covers. So the first reaction here is result. So if you scroll down, here are all the works, including the ones that I've made for the requests and also um, the ones I made for myself and pre-made covers that I've made before. So these are some of the works that I've done. You can check that or you can go to um, DeviantArt, DeviantArt and then look for Jolly Molly book covers. Once again, you will see a lot of my work. But mostly are just web novel work at the moment. So back to this, for these videos, I am going to choose one request and I will start to design it. And you can see the whole process of making it. So these are some of the covers that I made for my previous requests. Okay, so this is the request by Visca257. So the request is book title When Love Beckons Twice. Author name, blah, blah, blah. a young CEO woman who is dating for two years now, catches him cheating red-handed. Um, she breaks down, but slowly, blah, 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 blah. So, and then specifically, to be honest, I don't have clear idea of what, but something, a pure looking girl with very gentle eyes. I really don't know. Please help me if you can. So I'm going to click. So what I ask them to is to leave the link so I can read their stories to see whether it helps with designing. So this is her cover, the old cover, I think. Um... And then, da, 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 da. yeah, gentle looking girl look, look like this. I see. So, um, I would go back to her request and tell her that I'm gonna do it. So, I have to read the content for the first chapter, I would say. Normally, Song Jia. So, Song Jia is a Chinese woman name. So, I think I should find a Chinese name. Met her first love, whom she's been dating, blah, 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 blah. Right, I need to find a Chinese woman. So after browsing a lot of Chinese girls' pictures, I decided on one photo that I really like, which is this one. So after choosing a photo, it was not as easy as expected. I tried to decorate it a bit, um, adding some symbols and patterns that I can find from Canva, but it didn't feel right. I even um, went on to Google to search for romance, YA novels. I just couldn't find the right feeling for, you know, this photo. But it is exactly this cover that gave me the inspiration, you know, a, a chance to explore a new way to um, create my covers, which is with the help of an app called Sketchbook. For MacBooks or iPhones or iPad, you can definitely download this app. And once you download, it's very easy to use. It has similar effect as a photo shop, but it's much easier, you know, for beginners like us. And with this app, I uh, decided to abandon on the natural, the trees background at the back, and then just use the paintbrush to outline the girl and the flowers. And then uh, for the rest of the background, it's going to be all pink. I just feel like at that moment, it was the right thing to do, like just plain pink at first. After downloading the pictures again from Sketchbook, I uploaded it onto Canva and to begin to decorate on it. So I feel like that pink was too pink, but of course I don't know about the effect. So I utilized one thing from Canva, which is the photo 
filter effect. So by choosing the filter, the pink color somehow at one particular filter, it was lighter and it was something that I wanted, which is this pink that I'm showing here right now. My other struggle would be the font. I have no idea what font suits this um, cover at one point. I tried with the classic ones, but it didn't look good because the title was too long and it feels like I need to separate them into two parts, but it's still very weird. And it's, it's hard to find a place to put the author's name as well. So one thing, one of the covers that I referenced to was Love, Simon. And I really like the style. So I tried to imitate the style that was found from the book cover by giving that thought bubble and with a very specific kind of um, font is like a, a scratchy you know a pen written kind of font instead of the classic very you know, curly elegant style but of course um, it, it felt weird especially it's not really a YA you know high school kind of story so eventually I gave up on the idea and went back to the very very classic kind of font that I usually use for all like a lot of my book cover designs I don't know what got over me, but somehow I just suddenly feel like I want to add a lot of symbols around the pink because it's too, you know, blank and bland. I want more to cover it somehow like my style. I couldn't re really like remember where I had that idea of you know adding a lot of different symbols in the book, but then I realized oh it was from I think I got my inspiration from the uh, one of the posters of the TV drama called To the Boys I've Ever Loved, I believe. So yeah, I began to reference to and trying to make a similar version of that. But eventually, because you know, the background is really, really, you know, complex and it felt not like really not Eastern, you know, more like a Western kind of story, but this is a story that was set in China and stuff. I decided to go back to the plain kind of, um, kind of design, you know, very plain, but like very Chinese feel. So basically the result is like this. Um, yeah, and just wondering what do you think of it? Do you have any comments concerning this design? If you have that, please comment below and if you like this video, remember to give a big thumbs up. And let's end this video by saying remember to stop existing, start living and be alive. Bye!